Hello everyone and welcome to the Science and Learning Center here at Marwell Wildlife. Thousands of kids visit us here each year to learn more about the amazing world of wildlife and to meet animals like Zulu here. Zulu is one of our royal pythons and she often helps out with our classroom sessions here, helping kids to learn about reptiles up close and personal. Now right now it doesn't look like Zulu's doing a whole lot, but don't be fooled, she's actually still very aware of what's going on around her. Just like we use our nose to smell the air around us and help us suss out what's going on, Zulu uses her tongue. And as you can see, she's sticking it out quite a bit. And what she's doing with that tongue is actually bringing the air into her mouth, into the bit on the roof of her mouth called the Jacobson's organ. And here is where she processes all of the different smells around her. Now in the wild, these would help snakes like Zulu actually find their food. In this case, here at Marwell, we feed her lots and lots of mice. Now, Zulu isn't the only animal here at Marwell that helps us out in our classrooms. There's actually a wide variety of critters at the Science and Learning Centre. And here to tell us more about what they are is Education Officer Francesca. Hi, Francesca. Hello. Hello. Who do you have there? I've got Colin, the cockroach. There Very is. cool. Yeah. So here's the Madagascan hissing cockroach. That's one of about 6,000 different kinds of cockroach in the world. Um, but he's very special because he makes this um, unique kind of hissing sound. She's not doing it at the moment, which is good, because it means he's nice and relaxed. Oh, of course. If he wants to get a bit frightened, or if an animal's going to come along and eat him, he might just suddenly let out a sudden hissing noise, which would scare away any potential predators, um, maybe making them think he's a snake, like Zulu there. Excellent. And when you introduce Colin to the kids that visit you here, do you find that they're really keen to meet him, or do you find them a little bit grossed out by him? Well, usually they're pretty, clean, pretty keen. Um, but, you know, sometimes it takes a little while to warm up to him. But when they get nice and close, you can see his lovely little face. Mm. And then everyone knows that he's actually a really important little animal. So, yeah, he's very cool looking, I have to say. Yeah. Now, what kind of things can kids expect when they visit you here? What kind of things do they learn about? Oh, well, they learn about all kinds of different things, from classification, whether animals have fur, feathers or scales, or rainforests, or adaptations to habitats as well. And we case for all the age ranges, so it's from tiny little kids in nursery or foundation age, um, all the way up to higher education. Maybe. So a little something for everyone. Brilliant. Um, and it's all curriculum linked as well. Excellent. Well, it sounds like you have loads of fun here, Francesca. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can visit our Science and Learning Centre, feel free to pop onto our website. It's www.marwell.org.uk forward slash education. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.